First responders are not immune to the surge in COVID-19 cases, and Fresno agencies are working to keep the area covered as the virus cuts staffing. Our A.J. Cotto spoke to firefighters who say this comes on top of an already challenging year. It's been the busiest year on record for the department, and they've largely been able to avoid the virus until now, which just adds to the strain on resources. The Fresno Fire Department already stretched thin, now facing another challenge, the COVID-19 surge. The community itself is seeing a spike. We interact all the time with the community because we are not uh, able to telework in a fire engine or fire truck. We have to be there. Shane Brown says they have had 18 positive tests in the past three weeks. Compare this with just five in the first eight months when the department got ahead of the virus early. As soon as the pandemic hit, uh, the chief directed that these be built for every single frontline responding rig in the city. And inside this, is additional PPE. Police say they now have 50 officers on leave due to COVID-19, but have had as many as 77. Like the fire department, they say they're feeling the effects, but are also adjusting to make sure the city is covered. Brown says for them, it means answering the call no matter what. I woke up to my phone ringing and a, and a battalion chief is saying, hey, I need you to go to engine five and drive because the engineer just went home sick. The department has a constant staffing agreement with the city, so every seat designated to have a firefighter will, which sometimes means forcing people to work. Tomorrow morning across the city, somebody will probably get forced to stay and have to work Christmas Eve and cancel plans. Brown says last year broke records with 3,800 fires, and this year shattered them with 5,600. It's definitely, you know, been a taxing year on, on, our, on our personnel, and, but I think that it's kind of a testament to our whole fire department starting at the top all the way down. You know, um, everybody's sort of risen to the occasion. Brown says right now there are three COVID positive cases within the department and two people isolating, waiting for their test results. In Fresno, AJ Cotto, KC24, Local News That Matters.